You want to stop for a minute? Yeah, there are some benches over there and we can just hang out, enjoy the scenery for a while. Ah, oh, yes. The old cozy park bench. Perfect for when your butt needs a place slightly more comfortable than the ground itself. <laughs> I'm just saying, they could be a little nicer. Oh, well, excuse me. I didn't realize one could have such strength and resilience. Your ability to be unflinching in the presence of suffering is commendable. They shall sing songs of your... <laughs> okay, okay. I'll stop now. What was that? That thing. That mark on your arm. <laughs> oh, yeah. Definitely seems like nothing with how fast you were to cover it up. I'm sorry, I am, but I can't. I can't just ignore it and let it go. Because I know exactly what you're hiding! <sighs> I'm sorry. Yes, I do. Because I know what fresh cuts and scars look like. I've got plenty of my own examples. <sighs> I know. Nobody knew. Not our friends. Not my parents. Nobody. Because I thought that I was better off suffering in silence than asking for help. So, I didn't tell anybody and I suffered day after day until I finally couldn't anymore and then I died that night it might have been years ago but I still remember it like it was yesterday I told my parents it was an accident I forgot how many I had taken. Then the doctors saw what I had done to myself. And they knew. When I woke up, I already had a therapy appointment scheduled. I got help and was given a second chance. <sighs> I'm telling you this because I need you to understand where the path you're on ends. Because I love you, and I won't lose you the way that I lost myself. Can you imagine that? Years upon years, wave upon wave of crushing guilt, with no end in sight, and willing and unable to face the reality of what you're doing to yourself? That's gonna happen to you. That guilt will eat you up without mercy, and speed you out a shell of your former self. It'll destroy you. Like it very nearly destroyed me. But unlike me, who didn't have a chance to prevent that from happening, you have that chance. You can stop the cycle of pain. It doesn't make you weak to need help. It doesn't make you less worthy of love. It doesn't make you a disappointment or a failure. You are one person every day you shoulder the weight of all your burdens all your pain you can't keep going like that it will wear you down until you break Yes, we all have our own problems and burdens, but guess what? 
We're all good and bad at different things. I don't know if you're doing it on purpose, but you hide your feelings, like, all the time. <laughs> yes, you absolutely do, but that's okay. Because I can help you with the time I spend in therapy, learning how to avoid doing the exact same thing. Yeah. You could definitely use some actual therapy though, like from a trained professional. Anyway, I try to help you with expressing your emotions in a healthy way, and you can teach me how to sit on uncomfortable back benches without complaining. <laughs> hey, evidently it would have been a very useful skill for a day like today. Just, please, promise me. Promise me I'll try to get some help, if you don't want me involved, I'll respect that. I know I probably already crossed a bunch of lines I had no business crossing. But I just don't want to lose you. I would very much like to have you in my life. If that can't happen anymore, I understand. But I just can't watch you destroy yourself like this. Yeah, I mean it. You are and always have been my best friend. And there's no one else that I care more about than you. After I left the hospital, I realized how much I cared for the people around me. My family and my friends were so much more precious to me. I saw that picture of us on my desk. <laughs> yeah, the one from that lame summer camp we got sent to. You've been my reason to stay ever since then. You were there for me when I needed somebody to turn to. You showed me love when all I had was pain. That's all I want to give you. I want to be there for you, like you were for me. I want to show you love in a world full of pain. I don't think I realized just how long I had been waiting for that. <sighs> Look, I get it if you don't want to or if you're busy, but I would really like it if we could spend the night together. We don't have to leave yet. We can stay here as long as you want, but tonight I want you with me. My place or yours, I don't really care. I just want to be there for you. Yeah, my bed is big enough for two. Maybe we swing by your place, get whatever you need to say, and then go back to mine? <laughs> Sounds like a wonderful evening. One more thing. Kiss me again. <laughs>